I, um, I, I, like, I like to quote uh, Stephen Oppenheimer. He was one of the participants in the, um, at the conference. Actually, there were three, of the, three foreigners that, that were there at the conference. It was Frank Joseph Hoff uh, representing uh, Professor Santos, uh, then uh, Stephen Oppenheimer, uh, who had written the book uh, Eden in the East, and who was a geneticist, and myself, who were the three guest speakers. And uh, Stephen Oppenheimer has done a lot of research using genetics in this region. Like I, I, quite, I said before, he'd done uh, uh, research on the, uh, the domestication of animals that came from him. And he also uh, followed the mitochondria gene through the females emanating from this region, going out into the world. And it appears that now a current, current uh, anthropology holds that Indonesia was populated from China, that there was a uh, migration from Taiwan region, from the Taiwan region towards Indonesia. And uh, we hold that to be wrong. It was actually in the opposite direction and much earlier. There may have been some movement late, uh, or late, later or early in history, which way you put it, so say 3,000 years ago from Taiwan to here, but 12,000 years ago it was the other way. So uh, there's been these waves of migration coming and going and there's also been the mass extinction. So it's very difficult to say who is first and who is second you know we all obviously we all originate from out of africa and um, the the races have sort of gone their separate ways through uh, adaptation so um, you know uh, i'm not a geneticist Mythology tells us that these civilizations were quite sophisticated. So uh, we only have that to go by. The thing is now to go and find them and, and get a better understanding of what they really were like.